Welcome back to 23 Minute Reads with me, Maya D. This is kind of like my virtual book club because in these five minute or so videos, I share with you my takeaways from my current reading. Right now, that is Undergraduate Research in Dance. As a part of my 23 to 23 challenge, I'm reading 23 minutes per day every day as an action of self-love, as an investment into myself, and as a way of providing myself with some consistency in an ever-changing world. Hoping that you will join me along in this journey by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and dropping some comments down there in that comment section so that there's an actual dialogue going on. Having in mind that while I have several decades of experience as an educator, performer, and curriculum writer, I'm not the know-all be-all for this book. I'm simply providing a space for dialogue. Well, this is the fourth book in our season of 23, and here are my takeaways. This week, I read pages 147 through the end, which means that it was the end of another great book. Takeaway number one is dissemination. This was one of my takeaways from book three, which was also authored by Dr. Lynette Overby. Um, which was the public scholarship in dance. But I feel that it is just as strong in this book, so I wanted to state it again. The sharing of knowledge, resources, help a community to collectively move forward. This book ends with a section called Online Resources that offers a plethora, a whole plethora, of sources to further guide readers through um, continuing their studies, continuing their research which takes me into takeaway number two. Takeaway number two is Dance Alliance. Dance Alliance was one of the resources that I learned about in that online resource section. And this is an organization, excuse me, it's an organization that's made up of a community of dancers that supports professional, other professional dancers in their endeavors by doing things like negotiating equitable rates, and uh, speaking up, so being a voice for that dancer, that performer. Once again, this is something that I really wish I would have known about years before because in my experience, um, I grew up in a company, started as a child, and had a, a wonderful, beautiful tenure with that company. But when I became an adult and left that company, I didn't know how to create rates for myself and contracts and so forth because I'd never been responsible for that thing. And it was, so it wasn't something that I learned in my um, experience as a professional dancer. So to know that there is a organization, that there's an entity that does exactly that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So Dance Alliance would have decreased my stress and I hope that it helps someone that's watching this video. Let me know in the comments. Did you like already? I hope that you liked. Did you like and subscribe? Takeaway number three is language. This is also a carryover from last week. And I think it is the best way to end this book. Through accessible language, this book builds knowledge and vocabulary for our future scholars currently in their undergraduate research. It also builds vocabulary and knowledge for scholars that are desiring to pursue research and it does this by helping them to create to create helping them to craft scholarly writing that describes the impact of their work hey everybody that was both the end of the book <laughs> and all three of my takeaways so before you go reminder that this is our new book the dance claimed me Hope you got your copy. I know some of you have already gotten your copy so that we can start this reading together. Um, thank you for staying to the end. Remember to like, to comment, to share. We want this community to grow. So, and we want to grow ourselves, right? So share it with someone who you think might enjoy these videos. And remember to drop books down there in that comment section too, because I would love to hear your thoughts. Until next week, where we discuss this book, stay blessed, spread a good word, and I'll see you again next week.